ओके okay, ये क्वेश्चन देखो अभी फॉर द अरेंजमेंट गिवन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर द कोहेरेंट लाइट सोर्सेस ए बी एंड सी रेडिएटिंग इन फेज हैव इंडिविजुअल इंटेंसिटीज ऑफ 2 वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वायर 2 वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वायर एंड 5 वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वायर रेस्पेक्टिवली एट पी तो तीन सोर्सेस हैं हमारे पास दे आर रेडिएटिंग लाइट द लाइट रेज आर मीटिंग एट द पॉइंट पी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटरफेरेंस एट पॉइंट पी ड्यू टू थ्री सोर्सेस इन यंग्स डबल सेट एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव गॉट टू सोर्सेस बट नाउ वी हैव गॉट The wavelength of each of the sources is 600 nanometer. The resultant intensity at point P is what? Okay. So uh, how do we solve this? Let's uh, understand the basic parameters. A and B have a distance of 3.2 millimeter. B and C have a distance of 2.04 millimeter. This horizontal separation is one meter. Okay. Point P is 15 millimeter. Sorry, this is millimeter actually. 15 millimeter. Above the central point between A and B, this point is the center. Okay, this point is midway between A and B. So, uh, how do we solve this? For that, first of all, we need to know the basic thing that we use in Young's double slit experiment. So, if we have source S one and source S two, and we want to find the path difference at a certain point, I want to find the path difference at this point. Okay, how do I do that? So, I take the midpoint d by two. This is also uh, d by two. This is capital D. This is y. So I measure the vertical distance of this point from the center of the two slits. Vertical distance is measured from the front of the center. Okay, and then I can say that for small. For small values of y, y by capital D equal to path difference delta x by small d. What is path difference over here? This point is p, so path difference will be s two p minus s one p by d. The thing is that we are measuring y from the center. Okay, so same thing we will be using in our question. So first of all, I want to find the path difference between a p and b p. So for that. BP minus AP will be equal to what? BP minus AP divided by 3.2 millimeter equal to 15 millimeter by 1 meter. Okay. So first of all, let's find BP minus AP. So BP minus AP divided by Distance between the slits is how much? Three point two millimeter. Three point two two millimeter is equal to distance vertical distance from the center is how much? Fifteen millimeter, and we divided by one meter. Fifteen millimeter divided by one meter. Okay, so BP minus AP will be equal to fifteen into three point. 22 into 10 power minus 6 meter. Okay, so this is 48.3 into 10 power minus 6 meter. Or in could in fact we could rather write down 483 into 10 power minus 7 meter. Now what is the wavelength given to us? Wavelength given is 600 nanometer. 600 nanometer means 0.6 or 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter. So BP minus AP is equal to. Is this a multiple of six? Is this a multiple of six? No, but it will be a definitely a multiple of three. So what we can write down? Uh, BP minus AP divided by lambda will be four eighty three into ten power minus seven divided by six into ten power minus seven. So this will be equal to eight zero point five. Okay. So we have. BP minus AP is equal to 80.5 lambda. Okay, 80.5 lambda means what? This is 2n plus 1 lambda by 2. Okay, this is an odd multiple of lambda by 2. That means BP and AP are out of phase. Out of phase. We will use this later on. Now let's find CP minus BP. Path difference between CP and BP. CP minus BP. So 
so for that again we should measure the height of point p from the center of bc we want this height how do we find that so uh, this is already 15 millimeter how much is this half of 3.2 right half of 3.22 millimeter will be uh, this length so this will be equal to 1.61 millimeter okay and what about this height this will be half of 2.04 so that is 1.01 millimeter okay so the total height will be 15 plus 1.61 plus 1.01 and then we can find cp minus bp so again using the same formula uh, cp minus bp by 2.04 millimeter 2.04 millimeter is equal to what is this height equal to uh, 17.62 right 17.62 divided by 1 meter 17.62 millimeter divided by 1 meter so cp minus bp will be equal to 17.62 into 2.04 into 10 power minus 6 meter so this is equal to so this will be roughly 360 into 10 power minus 7 meter now cp minus bp divided by lambda is what that will be equal to 360 into 10 power minus 7 lambda is 6 into 10 power minus 7 right yeah correct so this is equal to 60 so cp minus bp is integral multiple of lambda so they are in phase okay now from here it's very easy so let's say that the amplitude of oscillation of waves of the electric field is AA, AB and AC. This is the amplitude of the ray coming from uh, source A. This is the amplitude of the uh, ray coming from source B. This is the amplitude of the ray coming from source C. Okay. So we just learned that BP and AP are out of phase. So if I draw the amplitude vector, this is AA. Then since B and A are out of phase, so AB will be in backward direction. Okay. They are out of phase. So they will be in opposite direction, the amplitude phasors. But C and B are in phase. So these two are in phase. So AC will also be drawn in same direction. AC will also be drawn in same direction. So these two will get added. This will be subtracted. Okay. So the net amplitude will be net amplitude A will be AB plus AC minus AA. Okay. Now since amplitude is sorry intensity is proportional to square of amplitude. Okay. Uh, we have intensity proportional to square of amplitude or amplitude will be proportional to root of intensity, right? So we replace over here. A will be replaced by root I. B will be re replaced by root IB. C will be replaced by root IC. A will be replaced by root IA. That's it. Now just put the values. So intensity of A is 2. Intensity of B is 2. Intensity of C is 5. So root 2 plus root 5 minus root 2 so from here we get that intensity will be 5 watt per meter square this will be the answer okay